Hello humans. So, um, some exciting things uh, that I don't talk about too often mostly because it's rarely in my niche, but YouTube, like what is my niche anymore? So I wanted to do like an official like unboxing. So recent, so I'm a big fan of Gary Vaynerchuk, if you guys didn't already know. If you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, he is, he, he's the writer, he's like a multiple New York Times bestseller. Um, I got a couple of his books, mostly on Audible, but um, crushing it. He talks about how people you leverage social media to build businesses. He wrote Crush It back in 2011 or 12, like at the beginning of influencer culture. Um, and he predicted that people are gonna use their influence in social media to change businesses. That was like, he was before his time. So I really trust a lot of things he has to say. He's already proven himself very right in the past year. Gemma, I'm talking exactly about what I was all excited about yesterday. So uh, hang in there for some information. So VFriends is an NFT project. An NFT is a non-fungible token. For those that have heard of cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency is pretty much just money that uh, people agree has value uh, and thousands of computers all of the uh, or millions of computers over the world um agree where funds are like if you think about where cash is right we have dollars like in america we have pounds in, in the uk um but most of the time you just see it in a bank account in a digital screen so it's a bunch of computers compute talking back and forth saying hey there's money over here there's money over here that's pretty much just what cryptocurrency is the only difference is you can't take it out into a physical form. So non-fungible tokens are just that, but for collectibles. So what Gary Vaynerchuk has done is he's created an NFT project where he's put out over 10,000 NFTs for um, for his initial project. His secondary project, where did I put them? Thank you, where I put them all in the car, didn't I? Where do I have some? Oh, so back in August, so last May, he came up with his original V Friends project, and the V Friends project um, has done really well. Uh, the lowest price you could pretty much pay for something was like two thousand dollars, I think, for an NFT, which a lot of people were very skeptical about. I was skeptical about. I was not able to share with Alyssa my excitement for it. I didn't know that there was too much risk involved. I think for us to like put in two thousand dollars into something, um, but. Uh, you know, over the summer, I you started to see people do crazy things like pay 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, 500,000 dollars for these digital assets. Um, so I think they started to prove their worth to me. Um, and I wish I had gotten in. In August, right as my birthday rolled around, um, he said, Hey, if you guys buy 12 of these books, then I will airdrop you an NFT called Book Games. And so um, he said, it's a good idea. So I've started to really listen to his like cryptic little messages. He said, it's a good idea to buy 12 books. It's a great idea to buy 120 books. So I ended up buying 48 books. I got four NFTs and they exist on Immutable X and you can see them on Token Trove. So right now you can see two of them because two of them I got bought and I sold them. So I originally paid about $300. They're like, these are like $30 books. Um, I paid about $300, $360-ish for an NFT by buying 12 books. And then what happened was in, I think it was the beginning or, or mid-January, he ended up actually airdropping them. He said he was gonna do it for December and kept having technical difficulties. They made it their way here. Um, they were like super random. I was given four NFTs and I listed them just, you know, I wasn't sure if anyone would buy them, but I pretty much listed them for the price that if I sold one, I would make back my money on all of them. So, uh, one NFT was 300. So four of them I bought was about $1,200. So I listed them all for $1,200. Now I realized that this champagne frame one, uh, has a much higher rarity than the others. So it's currently listed at about 4.3 Ethereum or ETH, uh, which is equivalent to about $11,000. There have been ones that have recently sold in the past 24 hours for $9,000. I wanna hold on to it. So 
that's like my super excitement is in the past week. And so a week ago, I sold the, the first one that I listed for $1,200 sold. So I made my money back and I still had three NFTs left over. And then uh, yesterday I listed another one for a little bit over 1200, 1800, that sold. So I now have one Ethereum in my wallet. You can see right up there, one Ethereum, a little bit more than that which right now is worth $3,500. So I spent $1,200. I currently have that much money available to me in Ethereum uh, cryptocurrency. Ethereum is the blockchain. It feels weird saying ETH, so I'm just gonna say Ethereum even though I know it's incorrect. Um, if you want, if you're talking to someone about NFTs, use the word ETH instead of Ethereum. Uh, I'll just use ETH. That, so that I'm not confused people. So ETH is the currency, Ethereum is the blockchain that it's on. Sort of like the US dollar is ETH, a dollar. Um, the US economy or like the, uh, the government is the blockchain, if you will. It's the, the series of computers compu communicating with each other to decide where the, the currencies, the assets exist. So, that's like my big excitement is I finally seen an ROI on that investment. I was very excited thinking that it would be a lot quicker turnaround. Like I thought I was going to be able to flip them in like a week, but you know, it took a couple months. Um, either way, I'm very excited and I'm very excited that the other NFT seems to have a bit more value than the others. The upcoming game. So book games, Gary Vee has said last forever. Uh, there were there ended up being over a hundred thousand NFTs that were created, and what he does is he creates burn sales. So what it means is um, he creates other assets that you can attain by burning these NFTs that cease to exist in trade for something else. So right now you can go into his website and you can buy I think like you can buy a ton of different like rookie cards, like real like rookie cards from um, basketball, football players and stuff. Um, I haven't been interested in that. I, I have, I have done quite a bit of football card collecting in my life. Um, but I'm super excited that that, you know, exists. Um, but I'm more interested in getting a hold of some V friends. Uh, so V friends are his like original line I talked about earlier. He's coming out with V friends two, which is his second series, uh, which he's going to be doing a burn auction in the next, next like 15, 20 days or something. Um, I really want to obtain another champagne frame, which are kind of expensive. Uh, haven't, haven't decided if I want to do that yet. Um, I'd have to free up some assets elsewhere to do it. Hello, Adrian. And, um, what that makes available is if you get the right frames, then you can burn and get other V friend too, which I believe could have quite a bit more value. Here's the reason why. It cost $2,000 at the ground floor to get V Friends 1 last year. Right now, you cannot buy a V Friend 1 for what looks like anything less than ten to 30000 It's hard to tell because people are like holding on to them. They're not really selling them, but like, it's kind of crazy to look at how much value they're selling for. Now, it's hard to tell what their value is, um, but one thing you can say is that they are a ticket to VCon. And one of the things he keeps doing is he keeps airdropping new stuff to owners of the original tokens. So, very interested in getting one of those. Um, I've gotten Alyssa kind of excited about the possibility of getting a black cat. One of the things I'm also excited about, which happened last week, um, so I missed out on their other two cool drops. He teamed up with um, Mattel um, and created VFriend Uno cards. Those sold out in minutes. I missed out on that. Um, there was the zero cool collaboration. Uh, it's like a, it's like a sports card type thing. Those sold that that they did a blind Dutch auction, and, and I wasn't paying attention to the Discord, and I missed out. That was four days. Um, that would have been sweet to be a part of. I I'm sad that I missed that, um, but I'm glad that I, I was in, in on book games, and I'm seeing some positive momentum. Uh, I wanted to buy the spring collection he described. So I'm, gonna, I'm excited to open this up, but listen, I'm really starting to wake up. So I might have to either pause this, bring her to the table or something, but I think I'm gonna, so I got the Ambitious Angel shirt and the Genuine Giraffe shirt. 
They both cost forty dollars. The ambitious, uh, this is the ambitious one. I'm not like the biggest fr um, fan of it, so it just says ambitious, and then on the back, back of the neck, it's it, there's the little picture of the V frame. Let's see if I can get to it here. There it is. So that right there is the ambitious angel. So. I don't think I'm gonna wear this one. I'm much more interested in flipping this one. I'm probably gonna put it on eBay um, for like $100. I don't know if anyone's gonna buy it. At some point I might just end up wearing it um, when I'm feeling ambitious, but um, yeah, I, I wanted to own one and wear one and flip one uh, to cover the cost of the first one. So that's the first one. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put that back in its packaging. Uh, if anyone's interested in that, uh, because those also sold out in about 17 minutes. Uh, I was grateful that I was late and came in at nine minutes and almost everything was already sold out. So I got lucky that I was able to get a hold of that. This shirt, I'm pretty excited about though. So it says it's genuine giraffe. It just says genuine, but it's in giraffe print. Um, yeah, that looks sweet. So I'm excited for this shirt. I'm actually gonna wear this and like love this one. Yeah, I see the artwork on the back. It's tiny, but like, it's kind of cool. All right, I'm just gonna say ahead of time, I'm not impressed with like the texture of it. I was hoping it would be a bit softer, but it is what it is. Now, I do have some other thing. I have a V Friends hoodie coming. Um, and I have a pink V Friends shirt coming. Oh, it's pretty sweet. I like it. It's a little. It's gonna need a wash. Does it mean? Does it seem tighter on the neck? I don't know. Whatever. I'm excited. So yeah, this is this is what I was I really wanted to make the video about was uh, just unboxing that. But yeah, so long term, I plan on being like a, a V friend owner for quite some time. Um, seeing people flip one V friend for buying it for two thousand, selling it for thirty thousand, starting a business or buying a house or something like super inspiring to me. I think it's possible. I'm debating. Uh, so I really want to get a second champagne frame, trade it for the uh, something red devil. Um, I forget what the, the attribute was, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And uh, I think I've been outside the whole time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, been. Hey, bro. I like my new shirt. It's kind of cool, right? Genuine giraffe, it's in giraffe print. Is that one Yeah. I feel like it feels weird on the neck or something. But I think if I wash it, it'll be fine. It's an XL. Yeah, I think it's just the neck part's weird, but. <clears throat> so yeah, V Friends, long term play. Um, one of the things he's constantly talking about is he's in this game for life. Like, he wants to make like an animated series. He wants so many physical collectibles. Um, you know, I, I think we're interested in being a part of it. I think now that Alyssa is starting to see some of the results, uh, just in my the the book games um, investment paying off, um, I'm starting to have her see some of the results. Um, one of the things I'm also excited about. So I've been working on. Uh, a poetry book. So for many of you know, I already uh, self-published a book through um, Amazon uh, called Ideas Over Coffee. I don't know if I have a copy over here. Uh, I do. So I, I self-published my first book, Ideas Over Coffee, 2016. Um, I self-published a gratitude journal in 2020. I'm currently working on my first poetry book, it's not far from done. It's like 130 something pages. I want to do something that Gary Vee's doing, which is when he 
launched the book games one, right? He said, if you buy 12 copies, I'll send you an NFT. I'm gonna do something like, if you buy two copies or maybe three copies of the poetry book, I'll send you an NFT. Um, you'll just have to send the MetaMask wallet. Um, and I think I'll probably make a bunch of NFTs out of some of the poetry in there, like some of my favorite verses and stuff. So I'm looking forward to making that. Uh, I, I know that this is like, this could be a really interesting game to be a part of um, and to be creating. I know that I'm not gonna be able to create the sort of value that Gary is making. Um, that's, I mean, he's just kind of blazing the trail. I'm just kind of following along and trying to do something with everything that I've watched him do in the past year or so. Um, <laughs> realizing how much education I need to put out there for people to be able to obtain them because a lot of people don't know what MetaMask is, don't know what Coinbase is. They're, they're still concerned and confused about cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna have to put out a lot of education for that to happen. Um, maybe I'll just start doing it here. I'm, I don't feel like making time to make YouTube videos these days, so I'm just gonna do lives and explain myself as I go instead of editing. This is much more convenient. So what you can expect in the near future is I'm gonna be coming out with my own little NFT project based on how many people buy them, I, probably based on how many actual poems are in the book. Um, no, Gemma, you do understand crypto. I explained it to you yesterday. There's like nothing to get about it. It's just another currency. It's just another asset that you can buy stuff with. The US dollar, the UK pound, the Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum. And the only difference is um, because their value is going up more like a stock, it doesn't feel like a currency. So if you think about it, right, the US dollar used to buy things for, used to buy a Coke for five cents in the 50s. Now it costs $3 for a Coke. So the value of the, the US dollar and cent has gone down and so it costs more dollars to obtain things. Similarly, actually in the reverse, Bitcoin or, or Ether or Ethereum, um, it, you need uh, less of it to buy more stuff and it's just, it's been going up in value. So one Ether is equal to about $3,400. So it's, it's a little bit reversed from the way most currency usually works. Um, most currency sees inflation because governments can keep printing it versus ETH and Bitcoin is reversed. There won't, there's a limited amount more that can exist. Um, and so it's just another currency. That's really all there is to know about it. I look forward to delivering the project. I'm a little nervous about making the project and that it's gonna suck, And but I'm hoping at least it'll be a, a worthwhile like learning experience for what it takes to launch an IFT project. Um, when I hit 100,000 followers on TikTok, I also plan on releasing something and I have another book in the pipeline that I'm working towards in the next year or so. That one's gonna require quite a bit more effort. Poetry book's easy because I already wrote all of them. I just had to put them in a Word document and like compile it all, you know? So I'm gonna keep creating on TikTok. I'm gonna keep writing the book. I'm gonna keep watching Gary V. I highly recommend you watch Gary V. Jump onto his Discord. Um, if you search V Friends in Discord, that's where I've been learning a ton about just the future of it. I think for people that were curious about social media when it first came out, like I was, you know, I was the, I was the third person in my high school to get Facebook. I was the first one of really anyone I knew to get a Twitter. Um, I was late to the game on Instagram, late to the game on Snapchat. Um, not early to the game on TikTok, but like I, 2021, I took it seriously and made like 700 videos. Um, so if you're, if you like being ahead of the curve on things, learn about NFTs, just get a MetaMask account, get a Coinbase account, start trading, start playing with it. Just learn how it works so that when opportunities come, you can take advantage of them. Um, one thing you will likely need uh, if you want to be an owner of one of my NFTs when I come up with the poetry book is you'll need a MetaMask account. You might need a Coinbase account. I gotta go. Looks like Alyssa's taking over. For... Okay, she's just being annoyed with me, okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Talk soon, stay weird.